Good morning, ladies and gentle ladies. Today uh, is a great day. Why is it a great day? Because we get to live another day. And today is a special video because we are doing our first catch and cook. Yes, you heard it right, catch and cook. I'm gonna be going to different ponds, uh, just pond hopping around where I live, and we are going to try to catch a fish to eat. I'm not sure what fish we're gonna try to catch to eat, but honestly, anything that bites, we will catch. And I also have some worms um, that I had in the refrigerator for a while that I was just using a while ago just to go fishing. And um, so they're still, um, they were still in my refrigerator and I got them in the cooler now. And so, uh, yeah, we're headed out to um, the pond that I went to in the second video. Oh! Yeah, the second video, uh, because that's where I caught, you know, a fish at, and I think there's gonna be a lot more uh, fish biting, and then I also have worms, and so maybe a gar will bite, not really sure. Uh, if a gar does bite, I don't know what I'm gonna do, because I'm not gonna eat a gar, but if you wanna see me eat a gar, then comment below, and I will try my best to try to make that happen somehow but as far as right now we're just going for bass it's like kind of smaller bass we're not gonna get no big bass crappie bluegill um honestly anything that bites that's edible which is no let me take that back we're not eating turtle or if uh, uh, Nutri-Rat gets my stuff, I, yeah, I'll take that back. We're, we're going after fish. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this video. And before we get started, you know what we always have to do? We have to pray. So, I want you guys to bow your heads and close your eyes. Lord, I thank you for this amazing day that you've given us, Father. Thank you for just a beautiful day here and treat for it. And I pray that you just continue to be with me today, Father. I pray that I'm able to catch some fish and be able to put out some good content. And I pray that someone finds this video just um, inspiring or just motivational um, for them, Lord, just to be able to get out and go do something and just try something new. And um, Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing uh, in my life. Thank you for the amazing family that you have surrounded me with, the amazing um, friends, and um, I just, I thank you for everything. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to down the cross for our sins. I pray, Lord, that you continue to bless me in every single area of my life, and I pray that when, when the odds come against me, that I remember who you are and that my strength lies in you and the enemy has no power has no hold over me you have already had the victory and so because you have the victory i have the victory also and lord i i love you so much and i just thank you for all that you do and i'm so blessed and honored that we can just have a great God. We serve a great God. And that you just love us. Thank you for choice. Thank you for freedom. Thank you for peace, salvation. I love you, Lord. And I pray that you just be with me. And I pray that you just be with whoever's watching this video, Lord. And that you just bless them and, and just surround them and keep them safe and protect them, Lord. And I love you. And I thank you for all that you do. And it's in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Well, with that being said, I'll see y'all out on the water. All right. So we made it out. 
and I also still have this stuff from the beach. Uh, we got the spinner and I got the frog. Oh yes, I'm so glad I got these weights. Forgot about that. I'm gonna put that. Uh, I'll just put it in here. I'll put that in there. My bag feels light. Why is it light? Did I leave something out? I probably did. And yes, this may be an excessive amount of poles that I have with me. But it is what it is. Alright, now that we got ourselves gathered. Let's walk on down to the little pond. First things first, it's the morning. So you already know we're gonna go throw the top water. We have the whopper plopper. I believe this is what this is called. And it's a great top water lure. I've only used it maybe once, but it's been one of my favorites. Just look at that. Like, who wouldn't want to eat that? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, so as you know, I just got back from Florida and I caught those three big bass. So I definitely have to catch something back home because it can't be every time that I'm away that I catch some fish. I have to catch stuff at home. I should have worn my boots out here. But yeah, it can't be only when I'm away that I can catch fish. I need to learn. Oh! I don't know stood in a whole bunch of ants. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness I noticed before I got tore up. Hello, my beautiful people. Yes, this is a voiceover. I think I could do this for a living. Probably not a living, but I think it'd be cool to do it. But as you can see, I skipped a lot of things this day and it was just a lot of footage where I didn't catch anything and just me going around to different ponds. So I thought I'd save myself the trouble of editing all of that and save y'all the trouble of watching all of that and just skip to the good part. And so I'm now at the creek that I catch all my fish at and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Ooh, my gosh. Guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I don't know what that, is that a snake? Hold on, let me get my phone out. Oh crap, it just went in the water. I don't know what that was, but that was the biggest snake, if that was a snake I have ever seen in my life oh my gosh bro what there it is again what is that all right back at it like it never happened so i tied on a worm i have a uh one of them hooks where you with uh swivel with the swivel where you twist it yeah one of them things
Got one. Got one. Got one. Yes. 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 Looks like we'll be doing the catch and cook after all. Let's go. There we go. Good little bass. Perfect for eating. Now let me dispose of them. Got another one. Got another one. Let's go. He's barely hooked too. Small little guy. Let's throw him back into the water. Bro. That scared the mess out of me. I thought that was a rock. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh. I ain't ever seen a turtle that big in my life. All right, let's head to uh, Dollar Tree. All right, we have made it to Dollar Tree. And I'm hoping they have every single thing that I need uh, in here, which is, what are we getting? We need eggs, milk, milk. Why do we need milk? Eggs, flour, and I don't know what else. How you doing? Right now, I'm not seeing any eggs. And that is really unfortunate. So we may have to take this to Walmart. Yep. All right. We're taking this to Walmart. So I'll see you guys there. All right. We have made it to Wally World. And I was thinking about on the way over here um, to get some Frank's Red Hot and let the fish kind of sit in that for a little second. We got Frank's Red Hot, the original. The original kind. So put that in here. Um, we need flour. Get the great value all-purpose flour. Perfect. Right here. All right. Eggs. 72 cents. Perfect. Right here. When you get your eggs, you always want to check if they're broken or not. Like this. You don't want that one. So, check another one. And another one is broken. Okay. Let's check another one. And another one is broken. Okay. So Walmart is not very good with eggs. Hey, don't get anybody from Walmart in the egg competition or egg toss. Because they'd be bad. Okay, okay, okay. I found one that's not cracked. Perfect. Get these eggs. I think that's all I need. All right, well, check this transition out and I'll see y'all at the house.
we made it back to the house. All right, I have my ingredients right here. We have Tony's, the eggs, the flour, French Red Hot. We got four little fillets. I don't have a fillet knife, so I just used the knife as best as I could. And uh, so yeah, we got that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag. A little baggy. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I got a Ziploc bag uh, with a dog on it. And I'm gonna put Frank's in the bag and I'm gonna put the fillets in the bag as well and let it sit for uh, a couple hours uh, not really sure how long and that way it can get that um, the flavor of Frank's in there and whenever I get ready to cook I'm gonna of course break the eggs and then I'm gonna open up the flour and I'm gonna put some Tony's in the flour and do like a dip and flip and uh, yeah I think I've I've tried Frank's one other time. Uh, the last time I ever tried it was whenever I was uh, I catch and cook, uh, caught and cook um, a squirrel. Woo! And bubble strong. All right, let's put some of that in there. I think that should be good. Now, for the fillets, I washed them. They should be good. And there's no bones, I don't think. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Now we're gonna let, put that in the fridge, let that sit for a little bit, and I'll uh, catch you guys when I have the other ingredients ready. Boom! All right, guys, so it is later on. I've had the fish sitting in the refrigerator in the Frank's Red Hot, uh, so that hopefully it can taste not fishy. And I got my boy James behind the camera. He's gonna be uh, eating the fish too. You didn't say nothing about eating the fish. Oh, you gonna be eating it. Okay. You got to. So we're gonna get the flour and we're gonna pour it in the bowl. Yeah, uh, you don't need that much. It's only a little, four little fillets. Mm -hmm. And I accidentally let the eggs out. Um, so it, it's a For how long? Week. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's green. Green eggs and fish. Just like green eggs and ham. It's nasty. You think three should be good? Yeah. You know what's crazy is he's doing this. And he's got this sitting over here. I'm dedicated. That's, I was going to say, that's dedication. It's really sad, but it's dedication. Alright. Gotta get that bad boy right. But while I am doing this, I need to get a pan. I think it's clean. Uh, and put some grease in it. Not grease, oil. <laughs> Ain't it grease though? It's, yeah, basically. It's the last bit of oil that I got. Perfect. Vegetable. Sponsored. I thought we weren't sponsored. Huh? I thought we weren't sponsored. We got sponsored today. Crap. All right, we're going to let that warm up. And we're going to take our flour and we're going to put Tony's in it just to give it a little bit of, a little bit more flavor. Can go wrong. Never go wrong with Tony's, especially down here in the South. You put it on everything. Don't say that on the king. Great on everything. <laughs> uh, so we put it, where we put it first? Uh, uh, Brian. 
You pour the egg in the flour. No. Yes. No. I thought you mix it up and then you put the fish in there and toss it around because it gets it. You gotta put the. Oh wait. <laughs> I'm wrong. You put the fish in the flour. And then put it in here. Oh no. Nah, because you gotta put the egg in the flour and that makes it sticky. Right? No, nah, see, look. Watch. Hold on. Wait. Bad eggs, anyways. Yeah. We're just gonna <laughs> coat the fillet. Alright, got the fish in the egg. Transfer it over. Let's do a double dip. Why we make sure it's extra crispy? Like my chicken over there that I'm want to eat. Yeah. All right. So the camera died, but we're back in action. And as you can hear, the grease is popping. And fun fact, if you want to know if grease is good without the popping, you just hold on. Let it work. <laughs> All right, it ain't hot. All right, take two. That was take two. Take yeah. three. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it ain't. It's the thought. Yeah. Hold on. We'll wait a little bit. I'll watch That's a good lesson, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're supposed to throw water in it, and it'll... Why didn't it do it? I don't think it's hot enough. Oh. But it's good, man. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, high, I knew what you knew what you were talking about. Yeah. All right. So we got the first one in. It shouldn't take long to cook. Uh, maybe five minutes at max and it'll be brown and crispy in Jesus name. So right now it looks pretty good. Like I can't even lie, it smells phenomenal. It, it does smell good. I said phenomenal. Um yeah, I think they're ready. Where'd you catch this bass? In the creek. <laughs> Down here in the south, gotta use hot sauce. I don't got that much of that. I like Tabasco more than Louisiana. Uh, but that's just me. But it's technically from Louisiana. Yeah. Ooh wee. This looks so good. taste test. Here we go. Lord bless it. <laughs> Amen. Bro, that ain't even taste like fish. Is it because it's good or bad? No, like it's good. Oh, like chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Hot. You cannot, bro. You cannot even taste the fish. That's good. It's literally chicken. Ten out of ten. Must try again. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This is the best fish I have. Yeah, that's good. That extra crispy did the thing too. Mm -hmm. I still ain't forget about you though. Well, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This fish is actually really, really good. Like, I wouldn't even think it is fish if someone were to give it to me. And like, if someone were to put this in the Southern Classic box, I just think it's chicken. Nah, hang on now. You gonna lie on the camera? Okay, try your chicken. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this video and you wanna see more of this, uh, more catching cooks, more camping, not camp, I haven't done it yet, but 
I plan on going out to uh, like an island with the kayak and doing like a survival challenge. Um, but if you guys want to see anything, please comment below, like, share, subscribe, do what you want to do. And uh, tag the link in the top right corner. Yeah. If I figure out how to put that up there. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything to say? That fish was out of this world. Or out of, this, out of the water. Literally. <laughs> um, well, he went out of the world when I... Alright. Okay. Bro. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.